Good evening. The state government has finally released its final draft plan for the controversial Torrens footbridge. The towering arc from the banks of the Torrens to Adelaide Oval has some stark contrast to the original design. From this to this. Let the controversy begin. Who wants to start it? Eight to ten metres wide and 150 metres long, the Torrens Bridge will arc across from a future riverbank precinct to Adelaide Oval, bending back to a viewing platform with a cascading water feature. What we sought to do was find the best, most aesthetic way to move the most number of people. Matchgoers will step onto the bridge outside the Dunstan Playhouse adjacent to the railway station concourse before alighting at a plaza here on the northern side and then walking across War Memorial Drive to arrive at a newly developed Adelaide Oval. The original plan, and the one favoured by some members of the Stadium Management Authority, was to build at plaza level and bypass Memorial Drive, which will now be closed on game days. We have in mind taxis coming in from the west and doing a U-turn and heading back out. The government says a higher bridge would have dominated the landscape, the SMA putting on a diplomatic face. It's not a heavily trafficked area at the moment anyway, uh, so I think from an operational perspective we can certainly make it, make it work. There may be individuals who, uh, who think it should be something else, but there's no, no, the SMA itself has got no surprises out of this at all. The challenge now to match the vision to the $40 million budget. Tom Richardson, 9 News.